welcome back dear students this is the fourth part and in this video we are going to read about weather instruments now different types of weather instruments they are used to collect data of for weather forecasting now most of these weather instruments they are used by meteorologists today and you know have been around for some time and they are well tried and tested over a century the first one is thermometer now thermometer what is its function it measures the high and low outdoor temperatures in degrees fahrenheit and degrees celsius now thermometers consist of enclosed tubes with a reservoir bulb at the bottom you can see here in this diagram thermometer with the enclosed tubes and a reservoir bulb at the bottom now they are attached to a wood or plastic support that is calibrated to read in centigrade and fahrenheit scales okay and there are several categories number one is mercury so this is used to record high temperatures alcohol alcohol is used to record lower temperatures as it has a low freezing point next is electrical maximum that is maximum minimum temperature sensor mmts now mmts is a more modern method and this is used to record the maximum and minimum okay so max is maximum min is minimum air temperatures electronically and transmitting them to the weather station so six maximum and minimum thermometer is a u shaped thermometer that is filled with alcohol and mercury so you can see here thermometer filled with alcohol and with mercury here like other thermometers it is it you know even may also measures temperature in both centigrade and fahrenheit scales now shade temperatures are the maximum and minimum temperatures that are recorded by placing the thermometers in a standard meteorological shelter for instruments called stevenson's screen so the stevenson screen you can see here in this diagram if you see shade temperatures and they are the maximum and minimum temperatures that are recorded how by placing the thermometers in a standard meteorological shelter okay for instruments and that is called stevenson's screen and this screen helps in recording the temperature without the influence of direct heat and precipitation so this screen it records the temperature without this influence of heat direct heat and pre precipitation now stevenson screen is a wooden box that is raised with the help of stilts about 4 feet above the ground next is barometer now barometer is used to measure okay it measures atmospheric pressure and the measurement in millibars so the measurement is done in millibars under most conditions high and rising pressure indicates sunny weather so sunny weather is indicated by high and rising pressure while low and falling pressure indicates approaching rain okay so rainfall and they may be either mercury or aneroid barometers often they are attached to a pen that charts movement on a piece of paper okay and this resulting chart is called a barograph now the mercury barometer that the diagram is also given here for mercury barometer it consists of a mercury filled glass tube so this is the glass tube that is filled with mercury and more than 76 cm long and this is sealed at one end and then inverted in a bowl of bowl of mercury that is exposed to air 
when the pressure of atmosphere is balanced by the pressure at the point where the tube intersects the surface of the mercury in the bowl the mercury in the tube stops moving up and down and creates a vacuum at the top can you see here creates a vacuum at the top and this gives the atmospheric pressure of the area and can be read on the scale that is calibrated on the glass tube there now the greater the air pressure higher the mercury will rise aneroid barometer is portable and hence easier if required to measure air pressure of different areas and it does not contain any liquid and looks similar to a pocket watch okay so aneroid barometer you can see here the diagram it looks quite similar to the pocket watch and it is often used by explorers and travelers next is hygrometer now hygrometers they are special thermometers that measure humidity how by calculating the amount of water vapor in the air so they measure humidity by calculating the amount of water vapor that is present in the air and one type of hygrometer that is called a sling psychrometer okay and it uses one dry and wet bulb thermometer to measure the relative humidity of the air now one bulb is kept wet in distilled water okay and the other is left dry okay so one bulb that is kept wet is kept wet in the distilled water and the other is left just dry now the rate at which the wet thermometer cools is proportional to the rate at which the water vapors okay the water evaporates and this depends on the relative humidity of the air now when the air is dry the rate of evaporation is rapid okay so when with in the case of dry air when the air is dry the rate of evaporation is rapid and wet bulb thermometer shows a low reading then the difference in temperature between the two thermometers shows the humidity on a scale that is provided this is the hygrometer that you can see this is the dry bulb this is the wet bulb that is kept in the distilled water now low relative humidity is indicated when there is a huge difference between the readings of the two thermometers while a small difference indicates high relative humidity so ro low relative humidity is indicated how when there is a huge difference between the readings of two thermometers okay and when there is a small difference then it indicates what it indicates high relative humidity